Hello and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Akubiba, on this uh, glorious spring day, uh, 11th of May 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you are on this beautiful planet of ours. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with the content. Uh, today's Yoga Solutions is based on um, direct personal experience. Um, I've been doing some DIY. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing up this potting shed thing. And, um, yeah, I strained my lower back, um, and I was sort of bending over carrying my weight, <laughs> exactly what I tell people not to do. Um, yeah, I was bending over carrying my lower weight and, and my lower back was being pulled on, uh, by that. And I was carrying weight as I did it. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I, I caused a strain for my lower back, which, um, uh, left me kind of not wanting to do anything the next day. I didn't want to move because um, any movement felt um, kind of precarious and dangerous because it hurt, you know. Um, if my if those muscles seized up, then um, I, I could feel it could lead to some sort of uh, major sort of spasm. So um, anyway, I was, I was um, sort of lying there suffering <laughs> and um, not wanting to move, but lying down was uncomfortable. Uh, because basically my my spine was being kind of um, forced into the flexion position that I was in when I strained my back in the first place. So so um, I I really didn't want to do anything, but um, it came to me that I should do something because I I know what the solutions are. So um, yeah, it's interesting. It's um, when you have something like that going on, it, you, you know, your body is, is ringing the alarm bells and telling you, you know, don't move, don't move. Um, and it's probably a good idea unless you know how to, how to move in a way that relieves the problem. So, um, turns out it was actually standing practice, just uh, working out how to stand. And because it was my haunches all, all around the lower back, how, you know, gripping around the base of the spine, uh, buttocks, all that sort of thing, um, I thought, well, what I need to do is work out how to stand without holding any tension around my hips and my lower back. That's, that's the baseline solution for anything. If you've got a stick, stiff neck, then you've got to work out how to have your head up without holding your head there with your neck um, so you rest of the body has to do the work um, and you know the way you arrange things in space and breathe and that sort of thing it was my lower back and my and the muscles around the outside of the pelvis of the back um, probably groins as well because they tend to brace together um, but, but I felt it in the lower back so what I needed to do was to work out how to stand without needing to catch my weight with my hips or my lower back very tricky with two legs um, but um, it's much easier to kind of uh, to organize with one leg at a time so that's what I did and I thought I'd share that with you today so here we go uh, let's put my uh, broader picture standing cameras on yeah that'll do um, yeah my garden is about to turn up so I might have to pause for a second but, um, anyway, <clears throat> so yes, um, I, I was, you know, virtually, um, you know, I felt crippled. I, I, I couldn't um, do anything really. Um, excuse the time lag on one of the screens there, um, this technology. So when, when you stand up and you relax your weight, which is a natural thing to do, Notice that probably there are muscles around the outside of the hip that catch your weight when you, when you stand on one leg. Because the, 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 you know, the weight is generally hanging off the side and not standing on. So um, there's a natural tendency to hold on on the outside of the hip, which is fine in most circumstances. Um, it's part of your kind of supportive system that gets involved with walking and other things if, if you want to walk well but so you know if i i could hold myself up and that's me holding my spine which i i don't want to do or if i want to rest my weight what happens is my hip 
catches that weight and to stop me from falling over it holds on and um, it's okay to get strong at that but in order to release all the holding around the top of the buttocks either side of the spine the, um, any any holding around the hips um, and without holding myself up with my spine that's the caveat because if you're holding yourself up with your spine, the spine, the breath can't uh, relate to support. It's you, you, you can only breathe on top of what you're doing. So, in order to do that, there's a way of organising things so that the weight from above drops through the hip joint. And then you've got to have an idea of where it is. It's kind of generally further down, further back, and... Um, yeah, further down and back than most people think because uh, uh, everyone feels the hip muscles around uh, the around the joint rather than the actual joint itself now a way to organize your weight from above to travel through that joint is to kind of do a side bend basically but first of all i want to plant my foot well and in order to do that you need to, you need to be able to feel supported by the front of the foot so I can drop my weight through the front of the foot. Yes, the hip catches. But the ball of the foot side and the little toe side. If I can let go of my weight with that as I When I release the breath, it's the same thing. What I get is support that comes up through the joints from where the weight is on the front of the foot. You need an active foot, you need an active ankle to get the toes to sort of express away from the points of support. But um, apart from that, it's about letting my weight go without it being caught by my knee, particularly. And eventually I'm going to want to not catch my weight with my hip as well. The moment it's bracing, it's me from swinging out to the side. So, start on the front of the foot. See if the front of the foot can take your weight without having to brace the front of the knee. And then, when you've got that response to being on the front of the foot, you can play with letting the hip sit back out to the side as the heel drops. So you let your hip basically move back away from the knee to allow the knee to open as the heel falls away from it. And you'll be, you'll find that the ribs on the same side <laughs> Uh, one second, I'll just pause. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, here's my, my gardener, Tom, who's come to deal with the jungle that's still up in, my, in the back garden. But, um, yeah, yeah, where was I? Yes, so establishing support from a proper foot. So, front of the foot, ball of the foot goes down, you have to work with the outer ankle to get support from that. Um, lifting the outer ankle helps you put the inside foot down and then when you right the knee over the foot the little toe side can go down and you should have a kind of down and out feeling through your toes that supports back and up through your knee so your knee doesn't have to catch the weight and then the next part was to play with how to not catch the weight with the hip so once you've got the weight on the front of the foot you can allow that hip to sit back with the heel that will take you more onto the outside edge of the foot but you'll find that the ribs on that side come together they're joining in with helping the hip come up it's back and up to get the hip to get your weight over that foot once the heel has dropped to get your weight over that foot so you don't have to um, hold at the hip these ribs on this side need to drop through to the inside of the foot if you, if you can align yourself so if you can feel the weight of those ribs that have already come together and already already sitting down they can land on the inside of the standing foot then that arrangement is a side bend but it means that you can kind of balance your weight through that hip without having to grip around the, buttock, around the base of the spine around the hip and the hip joint is down there somewhere 
inside of the Grexit truck counter inwards to in, uh, the bottom half of the pelvis. And your job is to try and let go and let go of your weight through that hip without it having to catch your body. What you'll find is that foot, uh, the muscles of the um, in the calf and toes will have worked incredibly hard the more you relax. Let's try the other side. So inside foot, lift the outer ankle, give some weight, try it out. Right the knee so the little toe side can come down with the same activity. And then I want to let the hip drop back with the heel. And that will bring those ribs down on the same side. And then when I'm standing on that foot, I want those ribs to find their way to be able to drop just an alignment thing through the inside of that foot. And that arrangement will put the hip joint inside the pelvis on the up, sorry on the uh, underside of the pelvis there, on, oh, um, in the middle of your gravity. So that's the starting point. Now that didn't quite, it, it freed up the hips and the butter muscles, but it, uh, the spine wasn't quite free. So the reason for that is I now need the core and the rest of the other half of the ribcage to join it. So let's go straight for the outcome. When you've got the ball of the foot down, see if you can get the ribs, low, low front ribs, low side ribs on that side to arrive on the front of that foot so that when the hip releases back away from it to release of tension before the heel lands take a breath if you hold the breath in its arrangement you can practice resting your weight down and allowing the weight to fall away from you as you release the breath away from the ground on the inside so the core will be coming up as the heel goes down. Now that core on the side you're standing coming up can also bring the ribs on the opposite side across. So you get less of a side bend, more of a leaning over your hip. And the, the inside, the ribs on the same, same side want to be able to drop and land on the inside of the foot. The ribs on the outside, the opposite side, want to be able to drop and land on the outside edge of the foot. And that way you can be one-legged, doing nothing in the hip, you'll be doing an awful lot in the calf muscles and the feet, you'll be doing quite a lot in the ribcage, but it will be more to do with giving your weight. Feel precarious, especially if you follow the task of letting go of your hip, letting go of your back, letting go of all the muscles around the pelvis and seeing if you can land on that foot to breathe, seeing if you can let go of the breath, giving the weight through the hip to the ground underneath that foot. If there's any pull on the spine from doing that, so I'm good again, the ribs on the same side land on the inside of the foot. The core wants to come up to bring the opposite ribs to the outside. Take a breath. The heel wants to fall away from it, allowing the hip to sit back. But the foot going down should help the ribs come together and the core empty away from the ground. If there's any last time, if there's any pinching around the base of the spine as a result, it's because there's something there, right? I can tell about it in my head. So what I need is to go from the way to the other chair. It's that foot, which is even harder than that leg. Especially, I want to not have to brace around the head. I'll bounce through that smooth <laughs> picture. I don't know if you can hear me out of the sound of the uh, string. One more time. Core comes up, ribs go down. Opposite side ribs go to the outside edge of the foot. Same side ribs go to the inside of the foot. 
heel drops to allow the hip to release away from the groin to allow the core to empty with the heel until I can rest my head through to that heel and then allow um, find it through the arriving breath no lifting, no holding around the base of the spine no buttocks only breath and buttocks through an unheld hip you have to hold it's because your weight isn't balanced over you may not entirely succeed but the intention to try and let go through that joint and release your weight so your spine doesn't have to carry it particularly with the release of the breath the arriving breath can set you up by dropping your weight to breathe it's quite hard the held breath can can give you an opportunity to balance through that hip whilst the core and ribs do their thing and then the release of the breath should be a release of effort okay so if you've tried that um, your hips should feel different but for one, they're less inclined to brace, catch your weight. When, when you walk, you should find that they knock out to the side because you let go. Um, so if you go for a walk, just see if that's done anything for your hips and your lower back. It certainly helped me the other day. Okay, so um, yeah, that'll do for... Um, Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. Um, just go to my other screen. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be carrying this on to cut some other things uh, for my premium members on a longer full class version. Um, I'll, directly after this, and then I'll, I'll post that onto the website for, for my premium members. If, if you want to become a, a, a premium member, you can you can do so very cheaply. A, a silver membership gets you access to all of my yoga solutions, probably about 200 of them by now, um, quite likely, yeah. And uh, it, it gives you a bit of a discount on, um, uh, you get a 20% disc uh, discount on workshops, that sort of thing. So it's kind of a, it's, it, it's a pretty good deal for less than a fiver a month, so a bit more than a pound a week. And um, yeah, I, I try and do one of these every week, so you're always getting fresh content, and um, it, you'll be hard pressed to catch up with me, because <laughs> uh, like I said, there's 200 on demand um, sessions. So um, yeah, you might want to consider that if you want the full version. Um, I'll, I'll be doing another workshop this Saturday, so uh, feel free to drop in. I, um, an interactive place means that I can uh, take whatever you've got going on or you would like to deal with and incorporate it in the workshop. And um, yes, I hope to see you at something soon. In the meantime, much love. I shall see you same time, same place next week. Bye now.